team in the country. Both programs are trying to establish themselves nationally and get some big non-conference games. So they both have Virginia on each other's schedule. This is going to be a great, great matchup today. Opening face-off, Nick Rolette going here against Andrew Janeiro and Wolverines will control the opening draw here as we are underway this afternoon. Graduate student from Georgetown, the only graduate student that transferred into Michigan this year. Coach Connery mentioned him and his leadership along with his maturity. So second offensive possession here for the Wolverines. Despite the fact it's maybe sitting in the upper 30s right now with snow squalls going, there is a good crowd on hand here this afternoon. Spin coming here from Thompson, looking, nothing doing. Works it down low to Michael Bame, working for Max Bame. 10 goals to go along with 11 assists this season. Getting worked over on the far side by Martin Nelson. And the Wolverines strike first. Bame tied that, timed up that shot so beautifully. His defenseman just about to put the wood to him. He just kind of steps around here. Great low to high shot. Awesome. You see the little rocker there. Gets the defenseman to chase. Without that extra wheel. I think it's Cheek over on the far side. No, I that, lied. He's got both shoes on right now. We'll get it sorted at some point. Knowing that Jack Rowlett's going to play a really big influence today with the faceoff, you can see the double poles up there early. Vince Cressy getting his first action of the season on one pole. Crimson wastes no time getting level. Owen oh, Gaffney going five hole. Knots the game up at one, not even a minute after Michigan was able to strike. Gaffney playing the character. He's been instant offense all year. Not a ton of assists, but he's got such a great release on his shot. Bring it ahead, looking to break the 1-1 deadlock here in a game that's nearly four minutes old. Justin Brown waiting for reinforcements. Has him from Jake Bonomi. Bonomi holding on the outside. He had goals in his last two games before the game against the Blue Hens of Delaware. That was a 16-12 win for the Wolverines. Working towards the middle, flips a shot that was harassed. Race on the backup. Wolverines will keep possession here. Bame with the effort to save the possession for Michigan. Josh Sawada, we're likely going to say his name a lot here this afternoon on the Tawarton watch list. Dodging to the outside, getting worked over by Charlie Muller. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Zawada trying to use a pick. Zawada flips down below the goal. Clay back in front. Look at the shot and the finish by Bame. Over the shoulder, tucks it inside the far post. Wolverines go back in front by one. The Michigan attack, the strength of the team does a great job here. That's all three attacking, touching the ball on this play. Just great carry, throwback with the third young man with the cut to the crease. They catch the Harvard defense looking, and there you the action. Throws into space. Michigan bench right now in sense that there was no call coming. Possession will come right back to the Crimson. King working with it now. Three-point effort against the Catamounts in that win last Friday. Sophomore to Baltimore, Maryland. Honorable mention Ivy a season ago. Trying to find space as Andrew Perry will yield up top. Owen Gaffney with it now. Already one marker on the afternoon. The lone tally for the Crimson. Let's go from distance and finds the back of the net again. What a snipe from Gaffney. Gaffney showing after it was early. He scored the first goal with his right hand. Here you see him go over the top with his left hand. That silky smooth release. He comes out of the splitter. You see the space he gets. The defender playing his right. No one steps up. And he Defined by youth the last couple of seasons. Now that youth has evolved into experience. Of course, the Big Ten, no easy pickings in terms of trying to make a move. Speaking of making a move, a little spin towards net and a finish for Cohen. Great separation with the fancy footwork behind the net and tucks this one in for the third Wolverine strike here in the first. Coaches making the difference. You see the short stick invert behind the cage. No one's really looking to slide. He hangs up Jaeger at X, beats him to the top side. And that is a great, very low angle bounce shot that Barner just can't get in front of. This Michigan offense is getting really, really high quality shots so far. They're playing really heads up and they're moving the ball, taking advantage of what they're given and being smart when it's not there. Just 40 seconds after the game was tied, Wolverine. Possession though will stay with the Crimson here. Inside five minutes ago, entering the final third to play here in quarter number one between Michigan and Harvard. Logan Ip has been coming on as of late. Fed down low to Arndt. Aren't backing away against the defense here of Michael Cosgrove. Around it will go. Eventually in the stick of Sam King. King driving. King elevates and scores. 
What a move and what a finish there by King. Goes aerial and tucks that one in to tie the game at three. That goal is the perfect example of the unbelievable level that Sam King took this summer and this offseason. This move he didn't have on the Arsenal last year, and that's unstoppable. I'm working it as the flakes continue to fly. You can see him dancing across the game. Brown lets fire, and down on the ground, Barnard is able to make the save. Now the Crimson a chance to try and push the issue the other way. This is Jaeger carrying it across, approaching the restraining line. Jaeger continuing on. A feed down low and a score. First lead of the afternoon for the Crimson comes on Teddy Malone's third of the year. Defense to offense in the blink of an eye, and Harvard is able to strike and take a one-goal advantage. Malone, the first year, has been dotting the lineup for the first few games. He's back and healthy, and this is just a high-level finish. The high school five-star just does a great job with that lefty, beats the goalie to the near. Crimson man up has been gangbusters so far this season. I'm sure we'll have other opportunities to talk about and highlight it as Bame has trouble with the catch back behind the net. Good scoop and takeaway in the Crimson. Another chance to try and counter. Barnard will carry towards midfield here, and it's O'Berry that will carry it across. O'Berry, unmarked, continues in. O'Berry finishes. Andrew O'Berry, the sophomore, his first tally here in 2023, pushes the Crimson advantage up to two. Andrew O'Berry, who's paired with Ray Dirth today. These giants in the defensive midfield, you can see Michigan's basically not going to slide. He carries to about eight yards. Arnt will hold. Works and backs away. Snowflakes continuing to fly here this afternoon. A raw day in March here in Cambridge, but good lacrosse weather, I suppose you could say. Andrew Perry trying to work it back up along the chirp. This one's burned in by Arnt. Great carry deep by Andrew Perry. He draws the slide, rolls back to his strong hand, and John Art with a low-to-low -low rocket. That's exactly what the youngsters from Harvard needed. You can see the deep dodge. A slide comes on the roll. Feed right into the crease. The two-slide wasn't in there. John Goals coming in man-up fashion. He's had a pair of goals and two other games he's appeared in this season. Cheek with the catch this time. Bacchus trying to get through here. Bacchus working his way to the front. Bacchus fires. Save made in front by Carr, but a follow-up shot and a score. Sam King on the doorstep. Collects the garbage and puts it in and pushes the Crimson lead up to four. The sophomore from Baltimore, you find him right on the doorstep there. Usually he's behind the goal, but you see the heads he play right where he should be. Keeps his feet up. Arndt trying to bowl his way towards the front. Will spin back. King now weaving his way. Inside 10 seconds on the shot clock. Fed in front and the dunker finish coming from Cheek. Patience by King. The pass to Cheek and an easy layup of a goal. Six straight score now for the Crimson. That's a tough one for Michigan coming in. They were worried about Hayden Cheek and his off ball. Last year he went berserk in Ann Arbor. That was one player that Michigan wanted to wrap up today. But we're coming into today, holding opponents to 77.3% on clear so far this year. That was the second best in the Ivy behind Yale and fifth overall in Division I coming into today. Here's Gaffney trying to work to the outside. He'll slow it down for a moment before yielding up top now to Andrew Perry. Bounce shot towards net, and it's in. Bacchus with the finish. The run continues for the Crimson. The, the lefty off the West Coast there. You see the nice under move. He gets back on his line on the GLE, and it's just go time. Good clear through by Hayden Cheek. Defensive help is in there. Great bounce shot. Bacchus got the first two of the game for Michigan. Teams went back and forth. It was a 3-2 contest, and since that point, seven unanswered for Harvard. Bame using the pick, trying to find an angle, but no room given. Inside 40 seconds on the shot clock as Grant McMurray looking for an angle. McMurray dancing to the outside. I feel like it's a lot of individual effort right now here for Michigan. Efforts trying to bowl their way and dodge towards the front. Here's a spin move coming from Aronson, and he fires, and it's in. That'll bring some energy to the Wolverine sideline, a goal they needed. It stops a 7-0 run by the Crimson of Harvard. That was very deliberate offense. Owen Gaffney, an offensive midfielder for Harvard, gets kept on the field. Michigan goes the double invert to hang it up with a pick. Beats his man. Got to stick down to it, trying to control it. A race backed away. Barnard's out of the net. 
It's going to be a quick carry towards the front. What a stick thrown there by Bergstrom, but a penalty is going to fly in the far side as Zawada was knocked down to the turf. So a man-up opportunity will be coming here for the Wolverines shortly, but there's only 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Got to get something towards the net here. Rip comes in, it bounces and scores. Aronson with the finish, his second of the game. The Wolverines putting together back-to-back -to -back goals and get themselves back to within four. That's a strong-handed move for Aronson. You can see he kind of stutters, comes around, and that's a beautiful jump shot, tucks it right under. The Jacob Jackson with it now, seven goals for him on the season. Leaves for Peter Thompson. Thompson, talk about an athletic family. Four siblings, all of which are college athletes. His brother, Rode, sisters all played field hockey, all at the Division I level. Left down low now for Michael Bame. Bame using the pick from Thompson. Bame fires and scores! Hat trick for Michael Bame. Hat tricks in back to back games, and he's got his team down to within three. This is why Coach Connery wasn't worried. They've been road warriors for the last year. Only two home games this season. You see the deliberate pick to strength. Bame sneaks it. Crimson were down 3-2, to two, scored seven consecutive goals to take a 9-3 lead. Since then, though, it's been three straight markers for the Wolverines to get them back to within spinning distance as we sit at 9-6 to six with just over three and a half to go here in half number one. Last three even strength possessions combined for each team have been penalties, so let's see if the teams can clean it up or the officials can keep the flags in their pocket. But the evener has been transitioned this quarter and also the extra man opportunities for both teams. This is Cohen holding behind the net. Jackson fresh out of the substitution area, rips and scores. Tucks it in, top corner. Wolverines on a heater right now. They're back to within two. That's coaching impacting the game. You know exactly where the substitution is. You see them trying to catch the Michigan player coming in. Just not much you can do with a double team behind the cage. That's just great X's. And Muller, number eight, was a five star. So you got a great matchup here. You got the leading score in Michigan's history, and you got the future potentially here of Harvard's back line. So Coach Burns got right what he right what he wants in the matchups. Muller of Chevy Chase, Maryland, working here. Zawada towards the front trickles and no signal as of yet, and it's in. And more concerning for the Crimson right now, they've got Andrew O'Berry down on the far side of the field. Wolverines back to within one here at nine to eight. Training staff's gonna come out and take a look at Andrew O'Berry, but how about the finish coming here by Zawada? Just enough heat on the shot. Cheek, leave now to Owen Gaffney. Two goals already in the afternoon for Gaffney here. Getting ready to make some work here inside 20 seconds. Gaffney, let's go. This one ricochets and stays off the line. Clamped down by Carr. Sends it long ahead for Grant McMurray. Inside the final 10 seconds. At midfield, McMurray takes a couple of chucks. Three seconds to go. McMurray sends over Cohen. Let's fly. Shot will work deflect, and it's in. Officials are going to get together and talk. It got across the line. The question is, did it get across before time expired? It looked like that hit Charlie Muller's stick. You see the Michigan sideline taking over the field, but I think that went in. If you're asking this announcer, Muller's stick just taps in as he's going to chase his attackman right here. Boom, it's in. You don't see the officials. You actually see Mr. Pinciaro looking at the scoreboard to see what time it was. And you can see the enthusiasm there on the Michigan sideline. What? Barnard. Isaac, excuse Isaac me, Eberger. Isaac Aronson with a big time blast in transition there. Coming off two goals in the second quarter that really helped the Wolverines get back into it. Dirth carries through and Dirth finishes. The run from his own end, no one marks him, carries right towards the front of the net mouth and that stops a run of six straight for the Wolverines. Dirth, who's had two brothers, one play at Syracuse and one play at BU. You can see the athleticism out of Ridgefield, Connecticut, played for Roy Colsey in high school, but there for bringing Chase Yeager, and boom, there's your switch, and Bame's got his match up there. Bame switched on to Yeager. Bame already four points on the afternoon will give to Cohen. Shot clock winds its way inside at 30. Zawada, Swedes to the front, and one motion tucked in by Bonomi. 
What a feed and what a finish. Deadlock now at 10. That was just beautiful offense. This Michigan offensive six has been clicking all day. You can see the Dodgers are getting their hands free. These are uncontested finishes and feeds. Great dunk there. He just crashes the backside pipe. No one recovers. Got a shout out from John Paul, the, the godfather of Michigan lacrosse, as I like to call him. John Paul, great to hear from you. I hope you're doing great. Guys are making you proud out here with this comeback here. That second quarter, it's making it the great game we thought it would be. Hope you're taking care of yourself wherever you are, brother. Longtime head coach of the club program. Had the first three years when this program became varsity back in 2012. Three national championships as a club program right before the program made the transition up to full-time varsity status. This is Cohen. Rips one in. What a finish going low with the ripper there from Cohen. And the Wolverines go back in front for the first time since the first quarter. The Avon Old Farms product from Boca Raton, Florida. The lefty got off the plane or the bus or however they got here shooting and he felt hot. He's really been taking it. That recruiting class. It's an arms race in the Ivy League, it seems like, year in, year out. But last year, especially putting the Ivy at the forefront of the conversation in Division I men's lacrosse, and with good reason. Six of the seven teams qualifying for the NCAA tournament. One team that didn't, of course, the Big Green of Dartmouth. But even they had a couple of decent quality wins, including knocking off a Vermont squad that won the America East a season ago. And how about finding the strining the strings again here for the Wolverines? It's Peter Thompson with the finish. And Michigan opens up a two-goal advantage. Peter Thompson, the only graduate student transfer, he just hammered that. Coming out of Georgetown, you can see the left hand. He's not even shy. I'm a lefty. He's going to split roll back to the top side. And from about 12 yards, he posts that thing. Here's O'Berry just running, running, running. You see Teddy Malone filling in from the box, trying to get to that backside chalk. Dirth brought it across the restraining line. Chance now for the Crimson to try and get the offense set. This is the first multiple goal lead for Michigan this afternoon. Every advantage they've had up until this point has been just one inch dry. Taken and scored! What a finish by Bacchus! Wow, that was really big time. Miles Bacchus moves the ball down to Hayden Cheek, kind of stalls for a second, then finishes his cut, and Miles Bacchus just hammer times this. His defender looks away, and you can see there's no one on him. He gets his hands free and just posts. Stop and Thompson. Wait for the offense to get organized here. Wolverines right now hanging on to the one goal advantage. Jackson working down low. Zawada. It's Thompson working it wide now to Cohen. Cohen, spin. Taken towards net, and that one finds the strings. Second goal of the game coming for Thompson. What a finish. And the Wolverines push the lead back up to two. This Michigan offense is beautiful to watch. You can see all the adjacent on-ball picks, and here's Thompson. He just keeps his feet moving, rolls underneath the Dodger, his, puts his defender on skates, and that is a great shot. He's feeling it. 81.9% of their goals are back, along with their top two face-off men. A team that's, again, relying on experience this year in a conference where it's not going to be easy sledding. You have to do everything you can. You build up your out-of-conference resume as well as we're going to have a penalty coming up here against the Crimson. Shot left fly, gathered back behind in front of the net. Quick feed comes to the near side, and Aiden Mulholland buries it. That's a tough one to give up if you're Harvard. Michigan just plays till the whistle goes off. Barnard kind of looks at it, tries to locate the ball, but you can see Michigan's just playing really crisp. There's a shot. Barnard thought it goes out of bounds. Just play off the end line really fast. And try to grow the advantage here. Back and forth early on in this one. Crimson went on an impressive run. Seemed like they had control of the game, at least for that moment in time. Watch this deliberate Michigan off against. Look at the spacing, forcing long slides. They're really going to absorb the ball here. Rip coming from up top. Bounces off the turf, and this one is in. Isaac Aronson came in with a purpose this afternoon. He's got a hat trick here today. One goal on the season coming into this afternoon. He's tickled the twine three times here against Harvard. Erickson just reacting. Aronson reacting off ball, time and space. If you get a skip across, see how aggressively Carr was all the way out and has his own restraining line there, helping to get the clear. Zawada, quiet so far. But we 
giving us a chance to talk about some of the depth of scoring on this team. Although Cohen does have a six-point day, along with Bain, that three-headed monster at the front. Those three last year accounting for 48.5% of Michigan's goal output and 79.5%, or excuse me, this year, 48.5% of their goal output and 79.5% of their assists on the season. Ball loose outside the crease, being raked at, and a tangle of bodies comes back towards the line. It's pulled off, and no, it's a goal! That Unbelievable. Is a, that is a tough goal in the fourth quarter, especially with that third quarter weird goal with Barner not locating the ball. But you see the scramble right in front of the cage. Coach Burns going to question this one. But you can see where's the goalie, where's the ball. Unfortunately, it's great to see. And here you go. Here's this second group. They got Dowling, Joe Dowling here, bumping into the midfield with Ip and Loring here. New unit here. You like to see that. Confidence in your players, knowing your personnel. Dowling working to the outside. Goal and assist against Vermont, trying to inject some offensive life into this Crimson team. Nice stick there by Loring to control. Joe Dowling's an IQ player. He played some box lacrosse growing up from Deerfield Academy. Thanks for helping me out, Joe. Great finish, right place, right time. I love it. Great feed by Teddy Malone. That's a first year to a sophomore. You get the right to left splitter down the alley. Joe Dowling crashes on that backside. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Sam King. He gets to that left side, he leans away. There you go, Joe Down. On the near side, Crimson will keep possession here. Dowling over to grab it. 15 seconds on the shot clock for the Crimson to try and work against this Wolverine zone. This is Ip. Feed behind the intended recipient, Malone. Ball loose and picked up on the back end here by Jack Whitney. Schreiber across midfield, gets it to Zawada. Zawada in space, left, down low. Cohen alone finishes in front. Perfection on the execution for the Wolverines. Point-to-point -point passing, Cohen leaking in the back door, and he's able to bury it for his fourth. Well, there's the three leading scorers for Michigan all touching the ball right when they needed to, and you can see how fundamental that is. Cohen just crashes the backside. 3% of their possessions in their last two games. That percentage-wise would have been second overall, just to give you context of where that number is. 18.3% would be second behind UNC in all of Division I coming into today. Run towards the top, coming here from Bain. He's got a seven-point afternoon, four goals to go along with three assists. Zawada trying to feed to Bain down low, can't make the catch well defense there. Again, it's Jaeger who throws his name in the mix, but it turns over in front, and the Wolverines bury it. Bain again. Fifth goal of the game for the junior out of Rocky River, Ohio. And his team right now is rocking and rolling to a six-goal advantage. Wow, that's a massive clearing issue there. The goalie struggles, Barner, to get the ball over the player that's on the ground. It's put the short stick in different spots. They're trying to take advantage of matchups they think they can beat Harvard in. But great opportunity, the first time we've seen. Run towards the middle, what a finish! Perry weaving his way in, falling down to the turf. Scoops it into the back of the net, and the Crimson get a much-needed goal. Coming from Moses Brown in Providence, Rhode Island, playing for Coach Mike Fraioli. Andrew Perry is so athletic, so dynamic, just tough to stop. And you can see he is not going down and not giving up. It's the Crimson last year out in Ann Arbor. As a work towards the front, Bame continuing to hold. He's just content to play keep away. Now a feed all alone in front, and the finish, Zawada. What a tally. Wow. Bame and Zawada. They must like clam chatter or something's going on here. Maybe they went to Mike's and got some cannolis, but these guys are on fire. You see the isolation against the short stick. Owen Guess doing the best. Guess doing the best he can. Draws the slide a little behind the back there. Here against the Crimson in their third try. Carried across by King in the waning moments. B comes in front. And that shot's denied as well by Carr. The clock will hit. The clock will hit triple zeros. Just an impressive effort here today by this Wolverine team. Found themselves down early, had faith in what they could do, started executing offensively, and the back end, Shane Carr was outstanding.